Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to my settings guide. Today I'll be showing the best settings in and out of game for performance and visibility. Getting into it, start off with gameplay. Gameplay settings, this is all preference. You can try mine out, but I recommend finding what works for you as it is all preference. But I'll go through it real quick. You can pause the video if you want to, if you want to copy something. Now, one question I do get asked a lot is why are my hit markers so big? And honestly, I just prefer it that way. I just prefer bigger hit markers than most people. Moving on controls, again, all preference. For sensitivity, I use 70, and for ADS sensitivity, I use 60, and I didn't touch the time sensitivity at all. Next, keybinds. Again, all preference, except I do recommend changing your keys for vault and jump. I find that it's very easy to just accidentally vault over things. So I have mine bound to mouse four. In the settings, it says mouse three, but I have it on mouse four. So I do recommend changing these two so you don't accidentally vault over stuff when you're trying to like jump around in the air strafe. I'll go through this real quick if you wanna copy. Pause the video if you need to. Next is video. For screen mode, please use exclusive full screen. For some reason, I see a bunch of people using full screen window or maximized window. If you want the least amount of input lag and best performance, use exclusive full screen, please. Screen scale 100, vertical sync you want off. I maxed out my FPS. Brightness, I recommend putting it to 200. It might seem a little bright at first, but the visibility just becomes way more clear. Field of view, preference, but I do think an ideal range of field of view is somewhere between 100 and 110. Feel free to go out of that range as well, but I feel like 100 to 110 is an ideal range. Vehicle field of view, I just max this out. Screen shake, please turn it off. Shadows disabled. Now, if you do have this enabled, you can see player shadows. I used to have it on for a while, but I've yet to run into a situation where I actually saw a player shadow that helped me get a kill by like pre-firing them or whatever. So I just turn it off for more FPS. I have everything off, low, LED quality, you want max. This can help with rendering player models at farther range. Not so much like the player model itself, but the quality of it and how it looks, it can kind of look a little off at range if you have this set to zero. This happens in other games as well. Usually, universally, you always want LOD quality maxed. Number of lights or everything else just the lowest or off. I recommend having brightness and coloring on. Makes visibility way, way easier. Everything else off and then contrast intensity 100. Audio, not really so much here, but copy if you want. Now, basically that is it for everything in game. Now I have a few tweaks out of game that you can do. First tweak you can do out of game is come over the battle bit, go to manage, browse local files, go to the .exe, properties, compatibility, and then disable full screen optimizations. Apply and okay. Now this should make your game run a lot smoother, feel a lot smoother. I haven't tested it with this option off as I come from Counter-Strike and turn this option on in Counter-Strike makes your game feel way better. So whenever I play an FPS now, I always turn this on. It shouldn't hurt your game at all. And if it does for some odd reason, you can always disable it. But I recommend turning this on, it should make your game feel better. Now for the last bit, my NVIDIA control panel settings. First, we'll start off with my 3D settings. Copy this as I scroll down. Low latency mode I have on. I know a lot of people run ultra and ultra can be better, but I've seen things where ultra could cause issues, maybe depending on your specs of your PC or maybe the game, but on seems to be the safer option. So I recommend on. Monitor technology, you want fixed refresh rate. You want your GPU selected. Power management, you want prefer maximum performance. Refresh rate, you want highest available. Now for shader cache, 
I recommend driver default right now. I'm kind of playing with it to see how it feels. A limited feel is good. I haven't noticed any problems, so you could copy if you want, but if you want to play it safe, do driver default. All the other settings are completely safe to copy until we get the threaded optimization. If you want to play it safe, do auto. I'm kind of playing with it right now. I have mine set to on. And then the rest are all good to copy. Come over here to configure surround. Make sure your GPU is selected. Change resolution. Make sure you have the correct res with the correct fresh rate. These are my color settings. I use full, high, highest color depth. Next, color settings. This is preference, whatever you want your digital vibrance to be. Mine's default. I change mine through my monitor settings. Size and position. I have no scaling. You want display. Make sure your refresh rate is good. G-Sync, you want G-Sync off. It is not good. Just like V-Sync, you also want V-Sync off. You do not want the settings on. And for the last setting, come over here to advanced and I put my range to full. And that's it for the settings video. I hope this helped. If it did, please leave a like, subscribe. I post BattleBit videos consistently. Until next time, peace. Mm -hmm.